it's one of the moral outrages of recent times. Um, and that's the way in which we have defunded um, adult education, lifelong learning, whatever phrases we're going to use there. It, it seems to have slipped under the radar. Um, and I, I think that's, that's a terrible indictment, I, I think, on our political system. Um, that, that such wonderful resources have, have disappeared. I think it also links to the conversations that we, we've had earlier. I, I, don't think, I don't think there's some magic bullet where we can spend money and let's say build new adult education centres in every town and, and people will come flooding in. You know, they'll come flooding in for more education. I, I think there is something about building up um, within within a community within within the population, um, an understanding and a value of learning and education, and in the context that that, that that I work in, I think that's very difficult when you're when you're deemed to fail all the time, when you're you're seen to be not good enough. The the desire to go into adult education when you've spent you know all your years up until eighteen or whatever it is now you've failed, you've been deemed to fail, you've gone to the bad school, why, why, would, you want, <laughs> why would you want to jump back into that system? So I, I, I think it, you know, it even goes back to the early years um, to, to, to develop um, or to, in, to in, encourage, you know, educators say these phrases very easily, a love of learning. Um, I, I, I would also have to ag agree with you that the the focus on the skills and the focus on qualifications for jobs, you know, e even, even at university, talking to my, my own students, that the number of them see education in quite limited terms now. I, I think this is, this is um, a feature of the competitive nature in which we've set up education. I think, Ash, you said this, that we are, we are, we are expecting too much of education, um, you know, that it's going to solve all of our problems. It's going to get all of us great jobs. Um, sometimes education is about reading great books or learning about things that you've never bumped into before. Um, I, it, it's not easy to say how these things can can change very quickly. I think I think it's a gradual change in the in the education community, um, and that might be many of the people who are here to to keep talking out not and again we don't want to live in a world of binaries but education isn't just about skills it isn't just about getting qualification it's much more than that and virtually every educator I meet knows that yet I'm pretty confident <laughs> that the new education minister we've got is going to tell us how he's going to level up increase social mobility and how we're all going to get fantastic qualifications and get fantastic jobs and that's that's not the case I think I think there's a job for all of us to do here to to hold on to some of those central principles of, of education being about. Oh, well, again, I um, forgive me if I got this wrong, but I think it's Ash that you said it about about being human. Um, that that you know that the young people we work with are humans and they have agency. They might not want to do A levels. They might want to do. <laughs> And this is where, you know, again, publicly you get very scared to say other possibilities as if it's demeaning them, but they might be, they might be other qualifications they want to do that are of equal value. But it's very hard nowadays um, to, to push that through. So I, I think that there's a job for all of us here to um, maintain that balance of what education Thank is you. about. 